Hi, I'm Ben Secret, and today in Photoshop we're going to be looking at how to recreate a hipstomatic like analog toy camera effect. And the first thing I've done here is just load a picture and crop it to a square shape. And the first thing we're going to do is add a hue saturation adjustment layer. And in some cases we'll be desaturating the picture and getting most of our colouring from the next steps. But in this case we're going to add 25 to saturation to keep our colours well defined. And now we're going to add a gradient adjustment layer. And this is so we can create a coloured vignette. So first we're going to set the gradient to radial and set the scale to about 127. And now adding to the gradient itself, I'm going to choose a greyish pink colour on the left and a dark green colour on the right. And this pink is going to be the centre of our circle, uh, with the green darkening the outside. And the great thing with doing vignettes this way is we can really customise the shape and the fall off. And now coming out of there, you can see if we click and drag on the image, you can move the centre of this radial gradient around. And now we can change the gradient's blending mode to soft light. Some of the other blending modes will give us stronger effects, for example linear light or vivid light. And now we can add a curved adjustment layer. And curved is really where we're going to define a large part of the look. So the first thing we can do is create a sort of modified S-curve. And we're starting off by dragging the bottom left point up a bit to raise the blacks. And dragging the top right point down. And now we can just darken the shadows a bit and pull out the highlights. And now going to the red channel, we're going to add a lot of red to the shadows. And we're going to do that by dragging the bottom left point up. And we're going to take a little bit of red out of the highlights. And on the green channel we're going to do the same only adding less green to the shadows. And now on the blue channel we've got the most flexibility and we're going to add a little bit of blue to the shadows and take a lot out of the highlights. And next we can add a selective colour layer and this is because curves has a kind of global effect on all the colours in the image. And with selective colour layer, we can go back and fine tune how our individual colours are represented. So, here on the red channel, and with the mode set to absolute, I'm adding 23 to magenta and 6 to yellow. And going to the yellow channel, I'm adding 8 to cyan, taking 3 off magenta, and adding plus 17 to yellow. On the greens, I'm taking 4 away from magenta and adding 2 to yellow. And this is really just fine tuning and won't make a massive difference. In cyan, I'm adding 1 to magenta and 6 to yellow. In the blues, I'm just taking 2 away in the yellows. In magenta, I'm adding plus 7 to cyan. And to the whites, I'm just adding 6 to cyan and 6 to yellow. And it's no special technique or magic formula to this. This is really just making sure our individual colours are still well defined after the curves. And for the next step, we're just going to clip and raise the blacks. So I add a levels adjustment layer. And we're going to bring the black points in the input levels up to 43. And this is going to clip all the blacks up to a certain point. And we're going to bring the output levels black point up to 43 as well. And this is sort of had the effect of clipping and raising the black point. Which can give an image a kind of washed out look, a bit like a scanned photograph. And that's it for the first part of our toy camera feature. Next time we'll be looking at how we can use textures and blending modes to complete the effect.